it on Alicia McCain Press. Hi, nice to see you in Toronto. Yes. Welcome. Followed you all the way here. <laughs> um, first question, I was wondering, um, what do you make of your security detail uh, arresting uh, David Menzies? So, um, Hey, hey, welcome everybody. My name is Marcel and this is my Ernie Racing YouTube channel reporting to you live from uh, Bureau of Land Management land here camping with uh, Dr. Tina ND in the background. Let me swatch over. There's Tina. And we got the one wheels on the charging from the solar, from the lithium batteries, the $5,000 of batteries. And there's my KTM two stroker. And look at us, guys, we're above the rest. All the RVs here on uh, Bureau of Land Management, the actual BL, BLM, what it should stand for, and uh, camping for free. Look at all the RVs down there. Anyways, we and we got Christia Freeland today. Christia Freeland is on the subject here. And so you saw the little intro about, is she gonna answer the question about David Menzi and her security detail? Uh, what is her opinion on it? What is her comment on it? And uh, so let's dive in. I guess we already know the answer, but uh, let's laugh at her, this literally Nazi family, Nazi Christia Freeland, the Freeland family. You're working with the city on it. Next question. Question gets down. Prime Minister Nijidam Lees from the Canadian Press. Hi, nice to see you in Toronto. Yes. Welcome. Well, the all the way here. <laughs> um, first question, I was wondering... Um, what do you make of your security detail uh, arresting uh, David Menzies? So, um, I want to start with what was important about Monday. And what was important about Monday, January 8th, was that was the fourth anniversary of a date that I think forever needs to be marked and circled in black on the calendar of all Canadians. Uh, it was a tragedy for Canada. Uh, Shame on Freeland. Using this tragedy as her escape route from the question. Right off the bat, we all know her strategy. She gets a question, she's like, uh, um, thank you for the question. That's a great question. First off, I want to start talking about you know, that's just her strategy. She does this over and over. We, we laugh at her so much. Canadians were criminally murdered. And I want to say to the families and loved ones of the people who... It's interesting she says criminally murdered. So is there ways to murder people that is not a crime? <laughs> Only if it's promoted... It's only if it's promote if only if it's the genocide on the right side, you know, like this is this is not a crime. Not not when we do it. We're murdered that Canada remembers, Canada will not forget. And that's why I was in Richmond Hill. Marcy was there too. To show Marcy. Marcy must have been the woman <laughs> who's walking next to her and you know, also sitting next to her, standing next to her right now. Yeah. You know, the one that saw the signal from the security RCMP about running the, the pick and got out of the way right away so then the other players could run forward and be tackled. Ms. Freeland, how come the IRDC is not a terrorist group? Why is your government supporting Islamo Nazis? What? You did this. What are you doing? You're under arrest for assault. Why are you, you pushing me? You're under arrest for assault. Who are you? You're under arrest for assault that this is a Canadian tragedy, that Canada remembers, and Canada will not forget. Um, on... Good point. Canada remembers what you have done over the last <laughs> several years. Canada remembers that you brought us into the housing crisis. Canada remembers that you used coercion uh, against people to take away their medical autonomy. People remember that you censored the internet. People remembered, well, I gotta try to remember, what else has she done? <laughs> People remembered that you invited a Nazi to parliament. People remembered that you sent money to Ukraine on a proxy war to have everyone eventually die. Oh yeah, and you weaponized the RCMP to attack your political foes and to attack uh, freedom of the press and to attack our right to 
a freedom of assembly or right to association? Do I need to go on? Oh, and you attempted to take all our guns, all hunting guns, and you printed and printed and printed fake money, counterfeit money, and now we have 50 to 100% inflation, depending if you're looking for food or products. You closed down our borders. You, you took away our charter of rights to be able to freely move in and out of our country. You segregated our population. You divided us based on the V or no V, even though Janine Small at Pfizer admitted that it blah, blah, blah. You Everyone got fired who didn't agree with your opinion versus the, for their medical autonomy. People are fired for their political view when it goes against you. You're attacking our children. You're acting like a children is an adult and can make decisions at 10 years old. Pretty much you're funding communism. Canada is the laughing stock of the world. Specifically, you and Turdeau are the laughing stock of the world. Let's keep going. The incident, um, as you guys know very well, Canada is a rule of law country. Canada is a democracy. What? Canada is a democracy? Do you even know what a democracy is, Freeland? I should. I almost try to call her like Victoria Freeland. It's like Newland and Freeland put together. Operational decisions about law enforcement are taken by the police of jurisdiction. Quite appropriately, political elected officials have no role in the taking of those decisions. And that's why I don't have any further comment. On immigration and housing, um, your government... No comment, no comment. She actually says no further comment. Well, she hasn't, her only comment is it's like, it's not my business. But you're the one that froze people's bank accounts. You're the one that brought in the Emergency Act. When the, that was the police were well able to handle it. They said they could handle it. CISA said there was no emergency. All the guidance says, but no, you and your dirty little politicians and your WEF gang, including you and your puppet and your puppet brother, Trudeau, no, you got yourselves involved in everything. You've involved yourselves in all of our lives. Tax on tax on tax. Oh, we're going to carbon tax you, which does nothing for your supposed environment problem. It's just a tax. Your inflation tax is the worst of them all. Wow. So, what do you, um, Dr. Uh, Tina, mm -hmm. let's bring it over to you. Any opinion on Freeland's no comment? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. You got to speak up over there. Yeah. Ridiculous. Yeah. All right. All right. Well. Ridiculous. Is that the name of the video? <laughs> Christia Freeland Newland is ridiculous, guys. No comment. Double talk. This is. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, if you uh, enjoy this type of video, of course, because you would you've watched her on CPAC otherwise. And uh, make sure you give a like, subscribe, and share. Any comments on the Freeland? If are you guys, is anyone out there in Lake Havasu area with a dirt bike that knows the single track best single track or best dirt bike area for a two-stroke? I'm not out there to rip the the dune roads with my two-stroke. You know, I didn't bring my four-stroke, um, and I don't want to rip side-by-side -side trails. But yeah, if you guys know, and we're at like you know one of the BLM lands, you probably recognize it—the gravel pit version that's like four miles out from Lake Havasu. Um, so, you know, if you're in the area and want a dirt bike, let me know in the comments and I'll read the comments. And, uh, well, we got some rigs moving out. Some rigs moving out. Okay, doctor, final thoughts? Well, no, I'm just so surprised at how she, well, I'm not surprised because I've listened to her now, but she never answers the flipping question ever. Cool. It's just like, you know, she takes this big deep breath and then she like, you know, tells everyone how happy she is. They ask the question and then, I don't know, then she flies off on some other rant about something and then, Because yeah. she can't answer the question because she doesn't want her answer to be public. Yeah, she just won't answer About it. her, oh, I loved watching it. I was just laughing and smirking. It was so hilarious. I love the totalitarian authoritative regime of Canada that we've developed. We're going to arrest if Marcel. You're under arrest, Marcel, for doing this video right now. She would just love to arrest us. Right. Yeah. Right. That would be her wet dream. 
and then say it wasn't up to her. Yeah, well, I, I had nothing to do with it. I didn't contact anybody. <laughs> thank I didn't you so talk, much for that question. I didn't talk talk yeah. and be like, hey, do you guys have, do you know what a pick is? Pick maneuver <laughs> in basketball. I barely know what a pick maneuver is, and yeah, it was pretty obvious. All right. Clarence is doing with the stock Duramax. Oh yeah, <laughs> about four inches under there. <laughs> We're the only people in this entire area that bothered to come up here. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I think we're just exploring our expedition vehicle necessities, right? How much ground clearance do you really need? You know, how much diff lock do you really need? How much departure angle, approach angle? Um, how big tires you need super singles, you know, we've been looking at the extreme from the Unimog, you know 40 23 50 23 um, As the newer ones Oh look at this to um, You know like just a raising a typical motorhome to Like a f550, right? Yeah, if you Dodge. had a 550, you know look at like liquid spring suspension you got your Fox suspension you got your your sway bars and how much do you do a lift um, how much travel do you need you know <clears throat> what do you really want to do with your rig and where do you are you gonna just pull side by side and then you go play or do you want to take your rig closer to becoming the explorer right well because we found these companies who are just taking regular RVs right and lifting them and putting new shocks on and then that's a lot less expensive than yeah, getting yeah you could buy yourself a Unimog you can well <laughs> or you know like even if something on a f550 yeah you can buy yourself an e450 motorhome um and then you could do like a six inch lift on it put your fox suspension on it put your sway bars on it um put the correct leaf springs on it the problem with the duramax is i have leaf springs in the rear but the front is that stupid tension suspension says independent suspension with like it's really bend these rods forward that go through the back and um, you know, I don't really have the ability to just change the leafs. I don't know much about it. Um, it's just not the typical 4x4 rig with your front diff, right? So, like, what's the, the Duramax? I like the engine. Um, the Chevy, you know, is relatively comfortable. Um, but in terms of 4x4-ish, it's probably on the limiting side of that, right? Uh, but how much ground clearance do I really need? Do I even need to raise this thing? And it's mostly the departure angle. It's mostly the dirt bikes their biggest problem, really. Not necessarily the ground clearance underneath the middle. Um, let's take a pause and I'll show. Right there. So there's that cross member above the transmission, the Allison. And you know, I still got like a handful down there, four or five inches. Um, and the rear diff. Oh, the rear diff. Look at that. The rear diff's got like three inches because we're just parked, you know, on this little odd little. The left side is dropping in. So that's something to keep in mind. Yeah, there's that rear diff. That is getting closer, three inches. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't be doing this over serious rocks either, right? So it's a sand area, it could drag just slightly. Here, of course, the dirt bike, you know, I could raise that whole thing up like, you know, three, four inches right at the pivot there. Cut, chop it, weld it, make your own, build your own. This extension's ridiculous. Put the front, put the dirt bike on the front too. Of course, our solar is like the solar, like that guy on the side is really the most brilliant thing for the winter. Um, the way to do it you know you got so much available space the roof is just such a, I mean the Sun is just never gets high enough to get the roof at full angle and my security camera system all around 
uh, you can see there's one right there, one right there, there's one over there, there's one on the front. It's fantastic. It's like spotlights too. It also lights up whenever there's movement. All right, they've got some work to do. Christia Freeland in the news, right, is responding to uh, David Menzies' arrest. Let's get to work. And uh, we need to go. maybe you can walk around and borrow some cream from somebody. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, that Definitely. sounds super Definitely. hilarious. Yeah. What are you afraid of? All these? What are these people like? Crazy guys with long hair and trikes everywhere. Are guys giving you dirty looks this morning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the guys behind me. They had, and they have trikes. And they have trikes. They're the they're the Harley trikers. Like those are the most hilarious um, market ever. Here I am on the other side, maybe the south south uh, east side. Give you a little perspective. Look at all the RVs. And then there's a more gravel pit, and uh, here I'm up on a little upper area, just checking it out, not too bad. There's a few people back there. Look at this guy's solar setup. All on the side, all for the afternoon sun. Very cool. And, uh, oh, there's us right there in the middle now, through there. Free camping, guys, 14 days and whatever, and just got to move around. To a different section every 14 days. Um, 